video of the Mind Simulator TMS we are going to discuss haul truck tip and decision points. This is a graphics from a large open pit mine in South America. Generally all trucks travel down the blue line and go around and stop at a stop sign and then a decision is made where they may tip their load. If the crushers and everything are working, they and it's available, one a truck may go down here, reverse, tip its load, and then go back out here and back out to the mine. If they're running if the a truck may come down here, around the corner, stop, and if these aren't available because they're broken down or maintenance or some other reasons, there's the cure trucks, the truck may go around here, back out to the runner mine stop piles and then tip at one of these tip points at the run of mine stockpiles. In this case there's two tip points. Once it's fit it's tipped there, may go back here, back out, and back to the run of mine uh, back out to the mine. The same as when we the system's reclaiming off the run of mine stockpiles. A, a truck is loaded here, goes here and then tips, then back out to the run of mine, goes on the run of mine circuit. Waste trucks come down from the mine down a separate haul road to a stop sign and here they have decide which they've got a, actually four tip points numbers one two three four oh, sorry three four five and six so a truck has to make the decision where he's going to tip so if all these are being occupied tipping the truck may come down here around here reverse in tip and then he goes back out and he goes back out the same road back to the mine so in the simulation, there's two things that are occurring here. They have to define where the trucks can tip, in which case here waste trucks can tip into here, which goes into a crusher and then onto the conveyor system. Or the ore trucks can dump here into a crusher and onto a, a conveyor system. Or in this case, they could dump at the run of mine stop piles. So the simulation has to handle multiple number of tip points and also the type of material that can be tipped there. But in addition, it has to handle the decision points. These are the points where a truck has to make the decision, like an ore truck has to make the decision. Do I tip here or do I tip, go around and tip at one of the run of mine stop piles? So in this video, we're going to discuss how tip points are specified in the simulation, as well as how uh, decision points are specified and also some of the associated logic around decision points. To define tip points and decision points, you go to the operational data tab from the MineOpsim main menu and then there's two other tabs here, one for tip points and one for decision points. You have to define your decision points first, I mean your tip points first before you define your decision points because your decision points use your tip points. In this particular example, it's reasonably simplistic. There's a truck dump and there's one, two, three run of mine stockpiles and in this particular case there's a crude oil dump. In this case there's actually eight places that trucks can tip. So there's one tip point at the truck dump, there's two tip points at this run of mine stockpile here, there's two tip points at this run of mine stockpile and there's two tip points at this other run, uh, run of mine stockpile and there's only one tip point at the crude oil dump. So the simulation knows that this is at this location in the haul road network there's a truck dump and it's associated with the truck dump called TD1 truck dump which is specified elsewhere. And then this is a run of mine stockpile because it's associated with a stockpile called run of mine. So when a truck comes to this location is going to tip its load into this run of mine stockpile. The same as when a truck is sent to this location to tip its load, it knows it's going to tip its load into this associated truck dump hopper. Same with these ones and same with this one. It's at a different location but it's going to dump its load into what this stockpile which is actually a crude oil dump. 
So, like I said, in this particular simulation, reasonably simplistic, it has eight tip points for the trucks, possible places the trucks can tip their load. And each of those is associated with a, a truck dump, a waste dump, a stockpile, or an ore pass for underground mining operations. So, the simulation already knows what material is in the back of the truck. So, it knows which some of the logic in there it knows if if the material it has in the back of the in the truck is waste material so it knows it can't probably send the truck to any of these dumps it can only send it to a waste dump so we have to have waste dumps in the simulation and their tip points okay so once you define all your tip points then you can associate them with what we call in the tms decision points Decision points are just locations where trucks make a decision. So in this particular simulation, at this particular haulage node location, a decision is made. So it only affects when a truck arrives at this location and it's loaded, okay, then it makes the decision, which tip point do I tip at? Do I tip, or tip at the truck dump or do I tip at the crude oil dump? Or do I tip at any of these run a mine stockpiles? And the simulation uses this sequence to determine which one it gives preference to. So if it can tip at the truck dump, it will. But for whatever reason it can't tip because the truck dumps down on maintenance, then it'll look at tipping at one of these other tip points. Okay. And so if a truck arrives here and the decision is made and it can it will go to the truck dump, tip its load, and then go back to the mine. But if it cannot dump at here, and say it gets sent, well, you can now tip at the crude ore dump. Well, this is now another route for the truck. It's going to have to travel from here to this crude ore dump. So what it does, it travels to the next, to the crude ore dump um, decision point. So then he travels from this location down to the crude oil dump location and then he has to make the decision can I still dump here when I was up here the decision was made that I could dump there so I've now I've gone around there and when he gets there he makes another the decision there's another decision made can I dump there because you know things may have changed since when he was traveling from here to here through the whole road network that now you cannot dump through there so in which case he then may go back and look at where he can dump again. Same with the runner mine stockpile. He may have been preference was to go to this truck dump, to the truck dump. I can't tip there. I cannot tip there. And then he says, "Well, you can tip here because this runner mine stockpile matches the same material you've got. You're carrying in your truck. So then he'll go around to the runner mine, the, the associated decision point with that tip point." And so then he'll go around here to the run of mine stockpile and then once again if he's allowed to he'll, he'll tip here but for whatever reason he's not allowed to because the stockpiles are full or or that you just can't access to them anymore because of the wet season or something he may then have to go back around and look at where he can tip again so the, the logic he keeps going around in circles if he cannot till he finds somewhere to tip um, some of the decision points can have other parameters associated with them. So in the case of this one, which is a truck dump, the, they, one of the criteria you can use is the number of trucks queuing at the truck dump. So in this case, if we're not doing run of mine handle, this, this simulation setup, then you can only have one truck queuing. So in this particular case, if they're not doing run of mine handling at that particular time, and a truck turns up at this location, and there's already a, a truck on the dump bridge and there's one queued then the simulation will automatically say well i can't go there i'm going to have to tip at a run of mine stop hole so you'll say i can't tip there can i tip at one of these run of mine stop hole points in which case then the truck is diverted to go to the run of mine whichever one is most appropriate at the time um, and once again, the queue of trucks, you can increase the queue of trucks on a standard. This is, this is normal operating practice. 
for this particular mine that when we're doing one mine rehandle, we're allowed to have two trucks queued at the dump bridge before any other tr truck is diverted to run a mine. And the other reasons you can set up for uh, diverting trucks away to run a mine at these decision points is if the plant's on, is a the truck dump or whatever's on plant maintenance, or it's are broken down or it's choked. Choked means that virtually the, the feeder underneath the truck dump isn't operating because it's feeding a plant and the plant isn't working or what have you. Anything upstream from the truck dump is not working for whatever reason. It's on plan maintenance or broken down, in which case trucks will be divert, diverted to the run of my stockpile. In more complicated mining operations, you can um, stagger these tip points, i.e. you can have secondary, secondary ones, i.e. you can have um, ones where you actually hold the truck there. That means um, it's allowed to go to that point and it can actually queue at that tip point waiting for uh, a location to tip or you can let the truck through in which case it will go it will go to a second location or in other words a second decision point so you can stack these things up and have multiple decision points in your in your um, simulation so in the in the one I showed you previously with the ore and waste trucks there would have been a previous uh, decision point which will be simple at one point saying well, all trucks you go down this row to access those the tip points and waste trucks you go down this other row to go to the where we dump the waste trucks so that way we have we can have layers and layers if you want of decision points directing trucks where they should dump and load um, there's also some options here that when you've got multiple stockpiles or you're filling uh, multiple runner mines you can force the simulation to to fill one particular runner mine stockpile before it moves on to the next one um, that is often the case where uh, if if you've got a, a large fleet and a truck dumps down and and you, they're all going to the runner mine um, you may want to fill the one closest to the mine first and then move to the one which is further <coughs> further away from the mine so that in which case you want to fill a Pacific run of mine stockpile first. If you don't have that on, like they are no, no, on set to no now, when there's multiple run of mine stockpiles, the simulation will send you know, trucks to whichever tip point is available on the run of mine stockpile that will uh, store the material, that same type of material that's in the back of the truck. So this is, it's reasonably, easy to specify very complex um, truck interactions with um, tip points where they dump and control the logic with them using this decision point and um, tip point uh, specifications in TMS. Um, it may not look very very complicated but it it's for you I've been it's been applied to many mines very complicated um, truck and dump situations um, around the mine, around the world and it's, it, it works very well um, it's you have to think about it a little bit and you'll find that it does cover most cases or it has it's covered all cases so far that I've been have to deal with so that's decision and tip points in the simulation it enables you to control where trucks tip <coughs> and it also controls the decision that now yeah, trucks are sent here in some circumstances and trucks are sent somewhere else in other circumstances. Um, another point I'd just like to make is that the trucks, the number of trucks queued <coughs> at truck dumps etc that can there's a, an option in TMS which I'll do in another video which is um, you can actually set up different queuing options so depending on what's happening at a decision point or what's happening around um, mobile equipment on breakdowns you can actually increase or decrease the cure trucks at the tip points at that sorry at the decision points but that's able I'll do that in a separate video so hopefully this that's probably reasonably high level it's a very important point to, in the simulation to con uh, enables you to control trucks uh, hopefully there's been a little bit of understanding from this video. Thank you.